टी आई आर टी आई आर मीन्स टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन सो टोटल इंटरनल रिफ्लेक्शन मीन्स हियर दिस विल बी पॉसिबल ओनली वेन इट इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम फ्रॉम डेंसर रे हेज टू ट्रेवल फ्रॉम डेंसर टू रेर डेंसर टू रेर दिस इज पॉसिबल वेन रे इज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम डेंसर टू रेर and the condition is this is the first to talk condition second condition angle of incidence is greater than critical angle so incident angle is greater than critical angle incident angle is greater than critical angle so i can write here incident angle greater than critical angle total internal reflection takes place that is what is the phenomena here means generally what happen here if you take an ray is incident from denser medium towards rarer medium if it angle is equal to critical angle it grazes bends away from the normal and grazes on the surface if the angle is slightly greater than critical angle slightly greater than critical angle now here i greater than c i greater than c then the ray reflects back into the same medium the ray reflects back into the same medium this is called total internal reflection the previous one is this is the when critical angle is there like that so the angle is little greater than critical angle the ray little greater than critical angle then it bends towards the then it reflects back not uh, bends is a reflex back in the same medium it reflects back in the same medium so it reflects back in the same medium here here what happen incident angle is greater than critical angle then ray does not pass to the rarer medium it comes back to the same medium that is called as total internal reflection total internal reflection no refraction here when i greater than c when i is greater than c we say that no refraction no refraction only reflection is possible i equal to c i this is i equal to c means the ray grazes on the surface ray grazes on the surface here r angle is 90 degree r is refracted angle but now greater than critical angle then there is no there is no refla that is refraction only total internal reflection takes place so to understand this phenomena they are explaining with this one by taking an example of optical fiber optical fiber so here optical fiber means they are taking one thin cylindrical shape structure very high thin and long cylindrical shape it is here the ray is incident like this suppose we let us take this is the norm this is the normal we can take this is the normal ray is incident with some angle this angle i am calling it as launching angle optical fiber means actually it has totally two parts beta so the outer part is called as cladding and inner part is called as core the outer part is cladding inner part is core this is cladding and inner the cylindrical shape inner cylindrical shape is called as a core and outer one it is surrounded by cladding cladding so core refractive index let us write uh, mu c cladding refractive index let me write uh, mu cl mu cl so here core refractive index is core refractive index is greater than cladding core is denser medium and cladding is rarer medium so core is denser and cladding is rarer medium c means co let us write otherwise co co indicates core cl indicates cladding 
so mu code is greater than mu cladding now this ray when it is incident it is that means it reflects into the under media there are two denser there are two denser it is so now what will happen the ray bends away from the normal the ray bends away from the normal so now the ray is incident here and again it reflects from here because denser to rarer and what will happen it is surrounded by surrounded by another medium that is called we are calling it as cladding the inner one is called as core then it is surrounded by the part is called as cladding we are telling so cladding is rarer medium so when it is incident on the rarer medium denser to rarer it reflects back so denser to rarer not going into the rarer medium it is reflecting back again it is instant again it is reflected again it is instant it is reflected again it is instant reflected again instant reflected like that finally it is coming out like that so it is traveling in this direction because of the number of reflections finally it is coming out from the core outside so this is the phenomena what we have saw here so in this phenomena you have to understand that the launching angle the first angle is called launching angle here total internal reflection takes place here every time it is taking total internal reflection but this total internal reflection is means greater than critical angle is actually greater than critical angle but what i am doing means i am not taking it as greater than critical angle simply what i am doing here i assume here that is incident with an launching angle this angle is called as launching angle then it bends away from normal like this then again reflects back and like this we told so this angle is called as actually greater than critical angle i am assuming it to be critical angle if critical angle it not reflects back like that uh, what will happen generally critical angle means what will happen beta it grazes on the surface little greater than critical angle it is reflecting back it is reflecting back so let us assume this is a little greater than critical angle it is there so that little we are uh, thinking it is almost equal to c so like that i have drawn so now i can construct one right angle here 90 so you can observe this one right angle in this one this is c this is 90 means this one is called as 90 minus so here what is the formula we can write sign of incidence is going from first we am launching angle is going from rarer to inside denser medium rarer means rear air so rarer means is a vacuum or air we can take so simply denser medium is core so mu core is equal to sin il by sin il by sin 90 minus c this angle is how much better this angle is 90 minus c So sin 90 minus c is called as sin 90 minus c is called as cos c. So sin i l by cos c I can write. So here I am writing sin i l by sin cos c. In the next step I can write. So from this one I can understood mu core is equal to is not exactly mu core is not equal actually, but we are assuming is nearly equal nearly equal. Okay, but not exact because that is not actually critical angle itself is greater than critical angle. But we are assuming like that nearly equal. We are taking so mu core is equal to sine i l by sine cos. So let me write in the next page mu core is equal to sine i l by cos. So sine i l sine i l is equal to mu core into cos t i hope it is clear now fine so il is equal to mu core into cos c we got what is cos c beta now we have to find cos c here because first of all is going from which medium to which medium we observe here first of all in this one is going from core core to cladding core to cladding and reflected So mu core to cladding means core denser medium, cladding rarer medium. 
so mu co2 cladding is equal to i can write like this mu co2 cladding is equal to i can write 1 by sin c 1 by sin c so from this step let us observe now here we know that mu co2 cladding is equal to 1 by sin c or i can write here mu co by mu clad mu clad is equal to 1 by sin c so from this step i can write sin c is equal to mu cladding by mu co so remember this one better this is sin c and this is the formula sin i l equal to mu co into cos c i want cos c value i want cos c means cos c i can write as square root of 1 minus sin square c because sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 i can write like this so 1 minus mu c l square minus mu c naught square so let me take a touch page here cos c is equal to square root of 1 minus mu c l square by mu c naught square so cos c is equal to now i can simplify this one and write mu cos c naught square minus mu c l square whole divided by mu c naught so now this is the expression what we got See here beta. Actual target is launching angle. Actual target is launching angle. So to find the launching angle, that was the formula we have. Sin L is equal to what is the launching angle formula? Sin I L is equal to sin I L is equal to mu here. What we can write here? Mu C O already is there into cos C is there. In the place of cos c, we got the expression that is what is a cos c beta? Square root of mu c naught square minus mu c l square by mu c naught. So mu c naught, mu c naught cancel. So I can write I l is equal to sine inverse of square root of mu c o square minus mu c l square. Mu C L means cladding, mu C O means co refractor index, cladding refractor index. This is the launching angle. I L is called as launching angle. So this formula is important for objective point of view. Some problems are connected with this one. Nothing here. It is going from here air or vacuum, air or vacuum to core. This part is called core. An outside part is called cladding. Outside plot is called cladding. So that what we have written means inside. This is a mu core and the outside is cladding. So what we know better inside it is a inside what we have core outside cladding. So that we can write the formula mu core with respect to cladding is one by sin c. Mu core with respect to cladding is one by sin c. Because Core is denser medium. Core refractive index is mu because core refractive index is mu c naught. And cladding refractive index, cladding refractive index is mu c l. And core is denser medium. Core is denser medium. And cladding is rarer medium. Cladding is rarer medium. So cladding is rarer medium. Cladding is rarer medium after coming inside rarer medium so from that we got this expression that is mu c naught is equal to because first it is coming from a to inside core a to inside here mu core here mu air means one the factor index of air i am approximately assuming it has to be one so it's not exactly one it's a 1.008 but we are assuming it to be one here so that here it is taking Critical angle here when instant on the cladding and reflex back. Actually, greater than critical angle, but I am assuming critical angle and doing like that. And I formed a triangle and this value C. And this value C means obviously this is like a right angle 90 minus C will become. So, like that, I discussed about uh, mu core. After that, I got this expression. After getting this expression, I went into the formula for core to cladding. That means the density, the critical angle concept I apply. Critical angle says always that mu denser here, rarer here, 1 by sin c. 
this is the critical angle formula what we have so we know denser is what core and rarer is cladding from that i have written the formula like that i hope you are clear with this one also then finally we got the launching angle expression here il is not exactly equal here we are approximately we are equating to sin inverse of mu square mu core, core square minus mu cladding square square root of mu core square minus mu cladding square i hope you are clear with these expressions what we discussed till now about total internal reflection 